So when you get these annoying white lines on your repeat patterns in Illustrator, there are two possible reasons why. One, you made some sort of mistake on your repeat. Or two, it's the dreaded Illustrator bug. Yes, Illustrator has a bug that we've pretty much all experienced. When you fill something in with your pattern repeat, this bug sometimes causes these white lines to appear wherever the pattern repeats, so where the actual repeat tiles are. Now if this is the cause, if, then it's actually just an illusion that shows up on your screen, and those white lines are not really going to show up in the actual real-life printing. However, it's really important, crucial actually, that you perform a test to see if the white lines are due to the Illustrator bug, or if it's an actual error in your repeat. Because if it is an error, then the white lines will show up in real life printing and this is not okay. You must fix the error before sending your artwork out. So how do we test it? There are two ways and if you can, I recommend testing both ways to be sure. The first way is you're gonna zoom in really close into your print, right into the areas where the white lines appear. If the lines disappear when you zoom in all the way, meaning when you can't zoom in anymore, then it means that it was just the Illustrator bug and those lines shouldn't show up in the actual printing. So you should be good to go. You can just leave the print the way that it is and not worry about it. Your printed artwork should turn out just fine. However, if you zoom in all the way and those lines are still there, then there's a mistake on your repeat. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how to properly check that and fix it. But first, I'll tell you the second way to test your lines. The second method is to do a test printout of your pattern. On paper, of course, not expecting you to print on fabric. Just a one color printout in the actual size of the pattern. So make sure you're not hitting fit to page when you print. You don't have to print out this entire filled box. You just have to make sure that the portion of the print that's being printed out is an area of the pattern that's showing those white lines on your screen, both a horizontal line and a vertical line. So when you print it out, if the white lines show up on your printout, then it is an error in your repeat, and you must fix that. But if there are no white lines on your printout, then again, you're good to go, and you can know that your print is safe to send out. Again, I highly recommend testing both ways to be sure, and I feel much more confident when I test using the printout method. So I know that it's still annoying to see the white lines on your screen, even when you've tested it and you know that they're not really going to print out that way. But there is one setting that you can check that does sometimes help the lines to not appear on your screen anymore. Go to Edit, Preferences, Performance, and if GPU Preview is not checked, then go ahead and check it and it might make the lines go away. And you can just keep it on this setting. It's actually the default setting in Creative Cloud, but you may have switched it to CPU Preview at some point or unchecked it, and so you just need to keep it selected now. If the lines still don't go away when you're on GPU Preview, then there's not much else you can do until Adobe finally finds a solution for this. But don't worry, because the lines are not really extremely noticeable, and we're all in the same boat on this one. But I usually do get a good result with GPU Preview. Now, many people also say that they get these lines when they export their files as a JPEG or a PNG. But first, let me show you how to properly check your repeat for mistakes and how to fix them. If you found it was a mistake in your repeat, then the first thing you need to check to see is, did either the color background box or the invisible bounding box move out of place? If either one of these was accidentally moved, then you may get these white break lines because the parts of your repeat are just not aligned correctly anymore. So both boxes need to be in their rightful place and aligned perfectly with one another. And also, if you're planning to export the pattern tile, then the boxes also need to be perfectly aligned with the artboard as well. The other thing you need to check is both of their measurements. Both boxes need to be exactly the same size as one another and should still be the exact size that you made them in the first place. So remember from the previous video where I showed you how to make this repeat, that I made it 5 inches by 5 inches, and that's the size that both boxes should still be. If you accidentally changed the size of one of them or made the color box smaller than the invisible box, then that's probably why you're getting the white break lines. Because there's a sliver of empty space here in your repeat, so by making sure that both boxes are the same size and aligns with one another, then your pattern repeat should not be broken anymore. And there's also a trick you can try here. Even though ideally the color box and the invisible box should be exactly the same size, if those lines are being stubborn, you can try making the color box a little bit bigger than the invisible box. This sometimes helps to get rid of the white lines, but the two boxes should still be aligned with each other at the center, and the color box can only be bigger than the invisible box, never smaller. Okay, so let's get to the white lines exporting issue now, and I have two ways to fix this. 
So you're an Illustrator, you're ready to export, and you go to File, Export, Save, and you're saving the file as a JPEG or a PNG or whatever your file type of choice is. So the thing you need to check here is under Anti-Aliasing. The option that you should have selected is Art Optimized. Remember that when you're exporting, you're making your AI vector artwork into a format that works with pixels now, and those pixels have a different way of behaving, so to speak. What Art Optimize Anti-Aliasing does is it smooths out the pixels so that your image can still have a nice, smooth quality to it, not pixelated looking. But with Type Optimize selected or None, these settings cause harsher, sharper pixels to appear, and so the white tiling lines may appear here as well. Since Art Optimize gives you a smoother effect, it in turn eliminates the appearance of those white lines. So saving with this setting should eliminate the white lines for you in most cases and solve the problem. And you can also do this if you're exporting with Save for Web. In that case, just go to the Image Size section and select Art Optimize there. So if you've exported it this way to test it out, open the JPEG in Photoshop, go to Edit, Define Pattern, then create another file with a larger page to test it. So in our new file, go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. Select the pattern that you just exported and no white lines, so it works. Now on to the second way to fix it. But before I do that, real quick, if you're finding this useful, please hit the like button and please subscribe so I can keep bringing you more videos like this. The second way to fix or to prevent white lines from appearing on your export is to make sure that the dimensions of your repeat in Illustrator are a whole number in pixels. So previously, I had my repeat dimensions at five inches by five inches. And if I change the measurement units to see what that translates to in pixels, we get 360 by 360. These measurements are whole numbers of pixels like they should be. But in order to demonstrate a mistake for you, I have another file here with my pattern dimensions in non-whole numbers. So here my pixels are 360.13 by 360.13. These are not whole numbers, they have decimals. So let's export the file both ways and see what happens. I'm exporting the non-whole pixel number file now as a JPEG. I open the JPEG in Photoshop, go to Edit, Define Pattern, and test fill the pattern on a larger page. And as you can see, the white lines are showing up here in my exported file. Now I'm exporting the whole pixel number file as a JPEG. I open the JPEG in Photoshop, go to Edit, Define Pattern, and test fill the pattern on a larger page. And as you can see, the white lines are not here. My file exported just fine. Why does this work? Think about it. As I had explained earlier, when you export your file, you're going from vector format to pixel format. So it makes sense that you don't want your file dimensions to be in partial pixels, as that leaves room for glitchy things to happen, like the elusive mystery white lines. It's actually even better if the whole number dimensions that you're using are even whole numbers, as opposed to uneven whole numbers. So if you have decimals in your pixel measurements of your repeat, then change them to the closest possible even whole number. Test it out, and hopefully this will help your pattern to work correctly when you export. But now that you know this information, the best possible thing is to do this at the very beginning, meaning when you're first creating your pattern and you're deciding the dimensions of your repeat to begin with. Pick a whole even number of pixels and you can avoid this issue from the beginning altogether. Now, although I've had a lot of success with these methods, nothing is 100% foolproof when it comes to the Illustrator glitch and with Photoshop's unpredictability when translating vector to pixels. So I hope these solutions do help you. If they did or if you have a different way to get around these Illustrator lines, let me know in the comments. I want this channel to be a place where we can all share with each other. And I also have more info on working with print patterns and Illustrator on my playlist. So make sure you click the link to check those out. See you there.